Guitarist Rich Williams of Kansas talks about touring with Queen and their love for cheese and tomato sandwiches. Uh, James Ryan asked you, did you get a chance to talk to Brian May when you guys worked with Queen? Oh, all the time. Um, again, they were just getting started. Um, uh, their yeah. first tour in the United States was with Mott the Hoople. Mm -hmm. But it didn't happen because somebody got got sick in Queen, got hepatitis. And so we got stuck on the bill with, with Mott the Hoople. And you didn't have media like you have today where that news traveled extremely slow. So first couple of weeks, of course, the, um, sheer heart, heart attack was starting to explode. But nobody knew that they weren't coming. And so... We'd go out on stage, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Kansas, the crowd is instantly pissed off. And I, I, on my deathbed, I will hear people screaming, Quay! <laughs> um, and that's where we, we learned a valuable thing about on stage is play loud and don't stop. In between songs, boom, next song, and just wear them down. But then the Queen comes over their next tour. And we opened for them. And so we didn't have really, we hadn't really done much. And they hadn't, they were still broke. And so we all just kind of hung out. Um, just two bands trying to make it. Uh, Memories of Freddie? Uh, they were all great. Mm -hmm. um, just great guys. Uh, yeah. We, we knew nothing about Freddie being gay or anything, and it really wouldn't have mattered anyway. But um, it was just a lot of fun. Roger Taylor uh, was not listed, but he sang uh, background on a couple of Kansas songs when we were working with John Elefante, uh, like uh, Play the Game Tonight. The, the, the uh, choruses, the highest voice is Roger Taylor. Because um, we we're all buddies, and he was in town. Um, John Deacon w was a, a very quiet guy, D not so much him. Brian was just such a proper British gentleman, very nice guy, I interesting. Freddie was a, a good guy. <coughs> um, yeah, we're always a lot of times staying in the same hotel and traveling sort of together. I think the funniest thing I remember is every time we'd, we'd meet in a restaurant somewhere on the road, it's kind of traveling in tandem. And they always ate cheese and tomato sandwiches. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're afraid of American meat or they were vegetarians or what, but cheese and tomato. You know, four, please. <laughs> um, really good guys. Um, an odd mix-up. When I first saw that we were doing the tour, tour and sh saw that uh, the album cover of them, you know, kind of in drag, I thought, oh, my God. This isn't going to go well. And, you know, that was just my Midwestern, Midwestern fear and bigotry against anything that wasn't Midwestern, I guess. And they were just wonderful guys. We'll have more from Rich Williams coming up in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Remember, you can help our channel. There are links in the description. Join our Patreon, check out our podcast. There's all the information in the description and, of course, all the latest from Kansas right there for you as well. This is Rocky Street Music. Take care of yourself.